In this video, I'm going to go over some of the features of Postman Cloud. Postman Cloud is the paid subscription product from Postman, and it's a great tool for teams who are sharing collections and working together on their entire API workflow. I'm in particular going to focus on a couple of key features, sharing collections, the team library, and Postman Documenter. If you've shared collections with Postman before, then you're probably familiar with creating a collection link. That's the way you would share a collection using Postman. Team sharing is how you would do it in Postman Cloud, and it's a little bit simpler. I'm going to show you how to do both just to compare them. I'm going to go over here to Weathered Slack, which is a collection I've used in a couple of other videos. It has just three requests, and what it does is takes a particular address and gets the weather and posts it to the Postman community Slack team. I would click here and share. And if I were using Postman, I would go over here to a collection link. I get the link, copy it, and then I could go ahead and send that to anybody I wanted to share the collection with. If I were to update the collection, I would need to click update link and then tell everyone with whom I had shared the collection link to go ahead and go to the link again and get the updated version of the collection. With Postman Cloud, that sharing and those updates are a little bit more automatic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give the team, everyone on my team view edit, and then I'm going to give um, just maybe one person on the team permission to um, edit. So everybody can view it, just one person can edit. I, so I would go ahead and hit share, and the collection would be shared. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is team library, which is where I would see where that team, where those collections had been shared with my team. So I go over to the team library tab, and up at the top you can see the weather to Slack, which is my collection that I just shared. And there are a couple of other collections in here, one from me and a couple from teammates. When I subscribe to these collections, I'll get updates, as I did here and here, I get updates um, when those collections are changed. And even if I'm not subscribed, I can go over to the activity feed. Um, I started out in the team collections tab of the team library, but I can go over to activity feed and see what's happened um, to each of those collections. I've done a bunch of things recently on a couple of these. The last tab in the team library is the environment templates. So this is where I can share with my team or my team can share with me environments that, I, that, that folks would like to use with their collections. I'm going to show you how to create a template to share. I've done one already. Let's go back to Builder. And I have another collection down here. Actually, I'm going to, you can see here that in collections I'm looking at all. I'm just going to go just to my collections. You can see I have two, the one I just showed you, Weather to Slack, and then one that is um, another one down here called the Spotlist, Spotify Playlist Generator. This collection uses a different environment called Spotify, PL Gen. And let's say I wanted to share that environment along with that collection, which is shared in the team library. I would go up here to Manage Environments. And you can see the Spotify, uh, the Spotify library is, environment is right here. Let's say I want to share that. So the Spotify environment has a lot of variables in it. And I'm going to choose a couple, um, like this authorization, and maybe the user ID. Maybe those are two values that I'm willing to share the environment with my team to use as a template or as a kind of an outline of how to use the rest of the collection, but maybe I don't want to share those particular variable values. So I can go ahead and share it. It's going to be called Spotify PL Gen dot template. And there are my environment templates. So I can go back to the team library, and now I have shared one. So if someone was using my Spotify in collection, they would be able to choose this, this template for an environment to help it run. The last thing I've, I'm going to show you is Postman Documenter which allows you to share API collections and documentation through the format of a web page. 
So back here on the Team Collections page of the Team Library, there are a couple of buttons over here that I haven't clicked on yet. One's called View Docs and Publish for the couple of collections that are mine. I'm going to start with View Docs. When I quick click on View Docs, I get taken to a web page that has all the documentation for that collection. An introduction with the various requests, some detail on those requests, including what goes in the body and the uh, of them and the requ and the request itself, as well as a place to get some code snippets to work with that. You can do it in a couple different languages, curl or jQuery Ruby, you can see them. And up here, the last thing I can do is publish this. So this page that I'm looking at is the internal team page. It's where I would look if I were uh, in Postman and I wanted to look at either the documentation for my collection or one of my team's shared collections. But there are times when I might want to share this documentation outside my team. And that's what this publish button does. You can either do it here or you can do it from your Postman team library itself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back there and to Postman Cloud and publish it from there. See, that's the second button over here. I would use this when I wanted to share the documentation for that collection outside my team. So if I hit publish, what I'll get is a page on, within Postman document or on publishing. I have a couple choices to make. Do I want to include an environment as the first one? Um, I have a couple choices. I could include the weather template or a different template or nothing at all. Uh, I'm going to just leave no environment for now. And then it creates a public URL and I can hit publish. As it says, publishing the collection makes it public to anyone who has the published URL. In particular, you want to be careful about shared environments. This is really useful if you want to give a URL to somebody to look at not only the collection itself, but the documentation. So if I hit publish, it's going to take me to that public URL. You can see it says successfully published. Here it says public. I, this is the public URL for the documentation for uh, this collection. From here I can go ahead and run it in Postman if I want it, or I can just take a look at the documentation. Now if I go back to Postman Cloud and view the docs again, this time after I've published it, So up here, instead of saying publish, it says published. So I would know, you can, looking at the documentation for this collection, that it is published. And if I wanted to, I could unpublish it here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I went over um, the team library, where you can look at look and share at collections, documenter which allows you to look at documentations for collections via a web page and in particular how to share the collections themselves using the team sharing feature of Postman Cloud. If you have any further questions you can go to our docs at getpostman.com forward slash docs or send us an email at help at getpostman.com. And please do consider joining the Postman community Slack team. Uh, you go down here to post, getpostman.com forward slash slack dash invite uh, to get an invitation. Lots of people on there posting about how they use Postman and tips and other advice. Thanks so much.